Hi everybody. Um, so I just realized today I have this condition and I just figured out what it is today and it's called PSE photosensitive epilepsy. <laughs> wow, I was processing some old home movies and um, this may be why my eyes are so wonky and I'm always looking all over the place. I have these um, I had these old home movies I was processing to try to share with my family on Dropbox.com. I should share the link on here. I'm going to share the link on here because it's free and you can like put stuff in your Dropbox and then share the link with somebody and then they can download really large files. It's really great for sharing large files. And um, anyway, so I'm going to put the share link there and it'll help me get more storage. But then um, anyway, a share link to something. Or, I mean the share link for you to download it. Anyway. So I'm like processing this video and my stepdad, when he was recording it, he set it on a tripod and like left it and I still, and if I look like I'm cross-eyed, then it's because I'm still tripping out here. Um, and then he put it on autofocus and every time somebody walked by, it would focus in and out and in and out. And it was these white walls, kind of like our white walls that I absolutely hate and I think that we need to paint and I think that I need to look into colors, okay? Um, and how they affect the brain more because I think I am sensitive to these things. Anyway, he left it on autofocus and I'm watching the video and I started to feel really strange and I've had a few migraines in my life but not like migraine migraines. But I also told you I suffer from night terrors and how that relates to gluten and how it's technically a seizure. So it kind of makes sense. So like I guess I have different kinds of seizures but I've never had a grand mal seizure. I'm never physically like ah. Um, but anyway, I definitely have night terrors and that is a type of seizure. <clears throat> and so I just had a seizure today, which was a uh, different kind of seizure of visual. Uh, so, so anyway, the, I started seeing first a really strange sensation came over me and then I started seeing these patterns and it looked like actually, you want to know what it looked like? Fractals. I literally saw fractals. And for, like, I was watching the autofocus go in and out. And normally a normal person would look away, but I edit videos. So I wanted to know how long is it going to keep doing this before I have to cut it out. So I kept looking at it and I tried closing one eye going like this and I tried closing the other eye going like that. And um, yeah, and then I saw the strange sensation and then I started seeing shapes and they say when you have a detached retina that you see the wavy curtain and it's like dropping. Well, I've actually seen that before, on a, right before a migraine, but that's not what I saw this time. I saw fractals and they came up and swirled around and they were like, first they were like here. And it was like, and it, I don't want to say black and white. I want to say electrons and no electrons or light and dark because it was like, these wave, it was a, a fractal, but then it had like zigzagging lines in it of light and dark flashing back and forth. Like one of those black and white little pictures that they show people and say, what do you think this is? But it was like a black and white fractal and it was flashing. And as the thing receded, it went up and up and up. So it wasn't a dropping wavy curtain, it was a raising curtain. You can bring me the thing, honey, it's fine. <laughs> Thanks. He sewed the strap on my guitar case. Thank you, honey. It's so old and like, got from my first guitar, thanks. But then I was still left with like a feeling of kind of disorientation and nausea and just, wow, you know, you know. anyway. <clears throat> there are medicines that supposedly help with epilepsy that you're not allowed to use in this state. Um, anyway, so, <sighs> And now there's a zebra on the TV, though so I can't handle it. I'm going to have to turn that off. So I realized that I was either going blind or I was having some sort of thing going on with my brain that was messing up. And I've always had a problem with scrolling. So, like, if I'm on the computer and I scroll, I'm okay because I know where to focus. I still think I'm about to trip out any minute and have see spots again. Like, it's tripping me out. I'm not seeing them, but I'm afraid I'm going to. But, um, but if I'm standing over my husband's shoulder and he scrolls and I don't know where to look, I always get really like, bah! like irritable and I'm like, what are you doing? Stop, stop. And I have to look away. I'm very sensitive to that. And I also have an aversion to video games. And maybe it's because it makes me like feel sick to look at them. 
but I do like the artistry of them. When I see really good ones, they don't hurt my eyes so much or whatever, but I don't like when people just run around in circles like my nine-year-old boy. But it's just like I have all these visual stimuli versions, which is really strange. And when we first moved into this house with these white carpets and <clears throat> these white walls, because it was a rental and we just bought it, so I think we're going to paint. I even wrote a song called Bitch Wife. And in the song, I talk about the white walls surrounding me um, and how that affected my mood. And so um, I know everybody liked my How to Tune Your Guitar to 432 Hertz video. It's like my most popular video. And so I'm going to do in part two of this. Thank you, Rebecca. A vocal warm up that um, that I just came up with uh, in 432 hertz. So if it doesn't sound right when you try to play along with me, then that's why I tune your guitar down. But um, it was helping me to kind of feel better. So, but in in this part, I just want to talk about photosensitive epilepsy, and um, I called my sister because she's she's in the medical field. She's not a doctor or anything, but. And she's like, you may want to mention that to your doctor. And I looked it up, and they would want to do an EEG and try to uh, instigate this at the same time. And I'm not really all about that because I don't like it. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> I called my father and asked him if there was a history of that. And he said, well, have you ever done LSD? <laughs> I'm like, He's like, it's probably a flashback. And I'm like, well, that's interesting. But I asked him, I, I described my symptoms and... I don't know what a flashback is like, but I don't know. You tell me if this is a <laughs> like a flashback because LSD is actually made from ergot anyway. And ergot um, is, if you've seen my article, ergot and wheat, a silent, a silent epidemic, it's kind of ingrained in a lot of our food now. So even if I've never done LSD or if you've never done LSD, we could be triggered into those similar effects. Okay. Um, so tell me if your experience, if you've had a flashback, matches my experience, which was photo stimulated. Um, anyway, so yeah, I need to mention it to my doctor and whatever. Maybe if I get an EEG and they do that, maybe I'll like take a video of it in case you're suffering from the same thing or whatever. But um, I'm going to focus on music and light and color because what helped me with this episode, whatever this episode was that I had, I call it, I, I really honestly want to call it a seizure because I felt my brain like tense up first. It's still like tensed up and I still feel really weird. Um, I'm not seeing spots anymore. They're not spots. They're, it was a shape. And then it, as it went away, it got to the top and it looked like a ceiling fan. Like, you know how sometimes if you look at something bright and you close your eyes, you see a residual of that object. Okay. Well, I kind of saw that, but it was in my peripheral and it faded over time and what helped me was looking out the window outside and going like this and looking at the natural lights and right now as I look at our white walls it's making me absolutely crazy so um, comment below please if you know anything about um, PSE and or if you know anything about uh, color therapy light therapy and music therapy because outside it's a very hazy depressing day but it is natural light and there's um you know the sky which is just chemtrail nonsense but different colors and then the greens and the browns and the tans and all the different shades really seemed to help me along with the natural light and then when i came in and played the guitar that also continually helps me and i don't know if it's the 432 hertz or if it's just music in general. So please comment below if you know anything about any of that, uh, light therapy, color therapy, music therapy, um, seizures, uh, or just tell me if you think I'm a crazy LSD brain or something, but no. <laughs> okay, no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but maybe I got into some, maybe I got into some wheat. My husband loves it when I say that. You got into some wheat, but I mean, who knows what's going on. I know we've been eating a ton more sugar recently because we celebrated Hanukkah and we've had caramels and chocolates and just way, way, way too many sweets. And um, I took extra iodine drops this morning because I was getting a sinus infection. So maybe that had to do with it. Maybe like my nose, is, my ears are clogged and then my eyes were trying to adjust and the iodine like detoxed me a little bit from yeast and then I just had a complete trip out because you know iodine is uh 
antimicrobial and antifungal. And so if I did get into some ergot, um, I'm doing a video, blah, blah. And if I did get into, and you have a copyright shirt on, so. If I did get into some ergot, or I had like a fungal -y thing going on, um, that's my son, <laughs> then the iodine would have facilitated killing that and just the die off could have made me more susceptible to the photostimulating epileptic effect. But um, let me know what you think and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'm going to put a link also to uh, part two and I'm going to do a vocal warm up if you're a guitarist. This is perfect. It's really simple but it goes and takes you through your whole range. Bye YouTube! <laughs> Bye YouTube.